in the main event. Not this hit is spot because Tucky says we supposed to set up shot. Uh, I was talking to Rogan who was who was Hashtag. there uh, on Friday. Yeah, this is it. And I, I set up anywhere God, inside when we got the white flag. So swing, man. I'm a, a huge Yoel fan. But from my understanding, this is out now. With Yoel had two hours typically, you know, so he was point what five point two off. You have two hours to make that. A guy of your male's level who's been cut weight his entire life. That's easy work. That's kick, that's cake walk. So you have two hours to make that weight to be with the commissions. Well, the commission was there, and a doctor was there, and then Yoel's team was there. The doctor was watching Yoel try and make the weight. He's saying he's actually fine. The commission was like, ah, nope, we're stopping this thing. So they kind of fucked Yoel. And now Yoel gets all this backlash, but, you know, they, they said he wasn't looking good. But even Yoel's manager goes, listen, when he fought Luke Rockhold, and when he knocked him out the last fight, was that in Australia? I think so. He goes, I was scared for you I didn't think he was going to make the weight. I was not scared for him making this weight cut against Robert Whitaker. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Yeah, Australia. Australia, right, against Rockwell. Okay. So it, it was a bit of a bummer. And also, if you ever were to win that fight, you have a complete shit show because he's not – the belt was on the line. So then they got to do a rubber match. It, it's just – it would be a nightmare if he would have won. Um – Man, that, that fight, uh, amazing fight, a, a ridiculous fight, that third round, definitely round of the year so far. Um, I, I couldn't believe how good Robert Whitaker, how, how good he looked on his feet. His kicks, I thought, were the difference. Yo Romero shelling up, kind of almost giving Robert Whitaker those first two rounds. His fighting style was very interesting where he would reserve this power, let Robert Whitaker get off, land all these shots, hoping to hit the home run. And say it to you blue in the face, but the world doesn't work like that. Um, so I had it, Robert Whitaker, rounds one and two. Third round I give for Yo Romero, not a 10-8. So that's two rounds to one. Fourth round I give to Robert Whitaker. That fifth round is where... Yep, somebody got robbed, man. Um, shout out to Brendan Shaw, below the belt, huge fan. But this is where I, I, <laughs> this is where I draw my line in the sand, man. Yoel Romero, if we really want to analyze the fight in a fair perspective, it was a draw. It was a draw. But if they really want to say somebody won, I'm sorry, it's Yoel, it's Yoel Romero, man. Yoel won. No other way about it. Simply because of how the commission was acting. They didn't want to let him cut weight one pound. Remember, Joel Romero has been a wrestler his whole life, man. His whole life. 32 years. Been an athlete for 32 years of his of his life. Right? 40, 41. Cool. So this is easy work for him. One pound. Just like he said. Just like Brendan Sharp said. Why didn't they let him? I don't know. See, this goes back to what Joe Rogan said about... <laughs> MMA judges and the commission at times not knowing what they're doing with the sport simply because they're not in tune with the sport. They know boxing, they know other things, but they don't know MMA, right? And a lot of wrestlers are in MMA, man. A lot of boxers, a lot of all of them cut weight. So one pound, really? You you guys, you guys were, were butchering Paige. No, not Paige Van Zandt. What's, what's, what's the girl? Raquel Pennington, not too long ago, about not making weight. And that was a serious, serious advantage, my guy. She she was heavy in that fight. But this, this, we're not pleading something for you all now? Ah, oh, come on, guys. Come on, come on. I get the whole rock hole thing, but that was because he was um, a last minute entry for the fight, right? So, yeah, obviously he's not going to make weight. Duh. This time, nope. The commission wouldn't let him. He was one pound off. You, the, the fights that happen when you won two pounds off, I mean, how can that be a big deal to them? You know? I Look, man, this is... I don't agree with Brendan Shaw here, man. Yeah, he's, uh, he's doing his corner thing again. You know, he's, he's, he's just being a fan of those dudes in specific. Listen, I'm a fan of Robert Whittaker. I've been watching gang of his fights, okay? I'm, I'm actually going to watch uh, his fight against... 
Jacare, Jacare Souza. I'm, I'm gonna watch it now, now. And you know, I, I think, I think him and Yoel are equals in this weight division. I really do, man. Cause think about it. Both fights were close. Yeah, or the first one, it leaned more to Whitaker. This one, in the eyes of the fans, in the eyes of the people that count for the sport, the people that buy pay-per-view, I'm not saying the fighters don't count. Don't get me wrong. The fighters do count. But, guys, come on. Even the fighters, there were some fighters that were saying, Yoel won. How didn't they? I don't agree with Yoel winning. All I'm saying is that was a draw. It deserves a rubber match. It should be overturned. I wouldn't be surprised if you see a no contest. But then again, if you don't, I wouldn't be surprised either. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I am out.